An audio description of a painting entitled December Work Suspended by Richard Ernst Urich. 1940. Oil on canvas measuring 101.6 cm by 127 cm. Part of the Ferens Art Gallery collection. Richard Urich specialised in atmospheric landscapes, of which the industrial quayside featured in December Work Suspended is a typical example. The background colour palette of the piece is mainly whites and greys dotted with brick red, and the artist's style is very precise, capturing exact detail. Although painted in 1940, the scene is reminiscent of the Victorian era. The angle of weak sunlight hints at a winter's mid-morning or early afternoon, the diffused light painting weak shadows throughout the scene. The centre of the scene is dominated by a three-masted, fully square-rigged sailing ship, which we view from the stern, its white steel hull stained with rust. The ship is docked at a quayside on its starboard or right side in a narrow river channel. There is another quayside on the far side of the channel. The ship's sails are furled, which means they are rolled up and tucked under the horizontal spars fixed to the ship's masts. Each of the three masts are supported by rigging called shrouds on its left and right side, which form the pattern of broad rope ladders tapering to a triangular point where they reach the tops or platforms of each mast, approximately 30 feet above the main deck. Numerous lines of rigging extend between the spars and masts in complicated crisscross lines. These are silhouetted against the mid-grey sky heavy with snow clouds, the muted tones of which appear to have been created by the impasto paint layering technique. The artist's brush has created the very fine detailing of the ship's rigging. A large cabin is visible in the middle or midship section of the deck. Closer to us, a large white lifeboat with a canvas cover is mounted on a metal davit in the centre of the deck. On the raised aft or poop deck, closer to us on the stern, is a terracotta-coloured ventilation funnel, rising about six feet above the deck. To the left of the funnel is a low brown wooden storage case. A figure stands facing us on the poop deck next to the metal railing that runs around the edge of the deck. The figure is dressed in dark blue trousers and a light blue tunic and wears a flat black cap. A white life belt is mounted on the railings. The ship stands on a calm river of green-hued water which gives a blurred reflection of the landscape around it. Small isolated white patches suggest thin patches of ice. A small boat with a single sail is sailing out of the partially visible river basin which makes up the foreground of the scene on the left. The boat is an open boat about 20 feet long with a single-masted red sail at its bow. Two figures sit aboard the boat, one pulling on an oar. The rear of the boat is filled with sacks. The boat is pulling alongside the sailing ship on its port stern. Two mooring ropes stretch from the stern of the sailing ship to the stone quayside on the right of the scene, the ends of which are tied around large iron cleats on the edge of the quay. The quayside is dusted with snow. Closer to us, a figure huddles over a fire in an iron brazier next to rusted brown railway tracks which cut their way through the snow along the quayside. A large flatbed trailer stands on the tracks beside the ship. It is loaded with timber. A small wagon stands beside the trailer with a ladder propped against the timber. The quayside is lined with red brick Victorian style office buildings with large paned glass windows. The two story building closest to us has a portcullis entrance on raised steps which we view side on. A second building further away from us along the quay facing the ship features circular bay windows on the second and top floor above its blue entrance door on ground level. A commercial sign on its front reads Vine Chandlers. The roofs of the buildings are pitched and dusted with snow. A column of white smoke rises from one visible chimney. The buildings compose the far right of the scene. On the far side of the narrow channel is the other quayside. A small iron crane is perched on the corner of the quayside where the basin meets the channel. Behind it is a large red brick storehouse, possibly a granary, which features a circular tower structure on its corner closest to us. To the right of the granary, further away from us, are two more brick-built storehouses. At a right angle to the storehouses, visible through the ship's rigging, is a two-storey brick house with a pitched grey tiled roof which faces us. Its gable end faces onto the narrow channel and the sailing ship. Behind the house is a squat lighthouse which pokes up behind the tile roof. Lining the narrow channel into the distance is a line of black deciduous trees bare of leaves. 
In the distance, behind the granary on the left, are low-lying snow-covered hills dotted with leafless trees, set against the grey sky. Here is audio describer Chris, telling us why he chose this particular painting to describe. Maritime paintings, especially of sailing ships, always fill me with excitement. I imagine where the ship has come from, and where it's going, the sights that it has seen. It's a taste of adventure. 